king snake is that it's going to be this decently long black snake with creamy or yellowy polka dots all along its body. So this is actually a good snake that you're going to want to have around because a king snake, the name king, means it eats other snakes. King cobras eat other snakes, these guys eat other snakes, and they're immune to the venom of our local venomous snakes. So he can eat a copperhead, he can eat a baby cotton mouth, right. up to the same size same that he is. So that's really good to have around. I am not colorblind, I know my colors. She is a copper colored morph. So she is a gray rat snake and she's showing you a cool thing that gray rat snakes can do. How do I know that's not a copper head? Well, besides the patterns that we're gonna show you, she's long. They can get up to six feet long and they can climb. These guys are found all over the zoo. They can be found all over Memphis. And if you ever see a snake in a tree, it's most likely going to be a gray rat snake. And with the name gray rat snake, what do you think it eats? Rats. These guys can eat a hundred rats a year. Rats can have about a thousand or more babies a year. So they're actually doing good to keep the rat population down. Copperhead. These guys are one of the, my favorite snakes. They're so beautiful. So how are you going to tell if you're walking out in the wilderness, you come across a snake, that it's a copperhead? Well, these guys can come in different colors, but they'll always have a Hershey kiss shape on the side of their body. And it's going to come and pinch on the back and it's going to look like an hourglass shape. And usually when you look at a snake, you're going to be, oh no, there's a snake and you're looking from it from above. So the hourglass shape is what you're going to see. So these guys get the bad rap of, oh, my friend was chased by one, it fell into my boat, they're really aggressive and tried to bite me. Well, snakes don't want to waste their venom, so they're not going to bite you unless you're giving them a reason to. And the way you're going to tell these guys are in cotton mouth is they're going to roll up and curl up into their uh, position and open their mouth at you. And you're going to see that white lining of their mouth. That's where they get cotton mouth from. They're also called water moccasins because we find them near the water. It's a rattlesnake. So here in Memphis, unfortunately, we do not have timber rattlesnakes, but they do inhabit around here. You're more likely to see them in Arkansas, Mississippi, up towards Kentucky. But we have a beautiful timber rattlesnake. Unfortunately, these guys have been persecuted and hunted because rattlesnakes mean it's a bad snake. These guys are actually good snakes to have around, and if you ever see one, let us know, because being in Shelby County, that would be amazing to be able to find one. But you can tell it's a timber rattlesnake because it will have sh uh, chevron or zigzag patterns going down its back. Because sometimes rattlesnakes won't have their rattle. They shed them off sometimes just like naturally when they shed their skin, their rattle might fall off and they have to grow it all the way back to where it was. So the good thing about rattlesnakes, if you don't like them, is if you know someone who's had a heart attack or other medical problems, they actually use snake venom to help aid those people to get better. They